Hello. Welcome to Japanese craft beer reviews. Uh, periodically, I like to uh, step, you know, outside of the country of Japan and look at beers from other countries. Uh, Japan has a wonderful brewing scene, but of course, there's a lot more out there in the world. But a lot of that depends on what makes it here, what comes here. Um, I haven't been out of Japan for a few years, uh, primarily due to the pandemic and uh, and a few other reasons. But uh, uh, so I'm basically dependent on what comes in and occasionally what friends bring back. Uh, so uh, and recently uh, the uh, a new beer appeared, or not a new beer, but a beer appeared uh, at one of the liquor store chains in Japan, and that beer is this one. It is called Lupulus Hopera. And uh, actually, I have had this before. I'll tell you about my rating a little bit later. Uh, this is from the Lupulus Brewery in Belgium. And they uh, are, for a Belgian brewery, they're relatively young. They started in 2004. Um, and they kind of have a, somewhat of a modern take on Belgian styles, but they do do traditional ones as well. In this case, this is a Belgian ale, uh, classified uh, by rate beer as Belgian ale, pale, golden, or single. Uh, so kind of like the basic Belgian ale style. 6% uh, alcohol and 37 international bittering units. Uh, Lupulus Again, starting in 2004, they have uh, 66 beers uh, listed on Untapped, uh, but uh, of course, uh, Untapped is unmoderated, and uh, people have added a number of uh, beers by year, by vintage. So, uh, uh, even, you know, I think it's a good idea if the recipe is uh, somewhat different from year to year. If it's not, then it should be listed as the same beer so nobody would put uh, you know Budweiser 2002 Budweiser 2003 you know unless the recipe has changed and in this case I don't know uh, if the recipe has changed I did have this and that was seven eight years ago so um, and this so again six percent 37 international bittering units this is a 333 milliliter bottle and it cost me 428 yen, including tax, where I bought it, and that would be about $2.93 US, and in euros, uh, 2.69. Rate beer, there are 436 ratings for this beer, and the average is 3.44. On untapped, uh, uh, a lot more, 34,909 ratings when I checked, and the average was just a tick higher, uh, 3.54. So, uh, should we give this one a go? Uh, the ingredients are uh, listed as simply malt and hops, that's all. Um, and so, uh, uh, it does say dry hopping on the back, and uh, but uh, I don't have any information on what hops were used in this one. Let's give this one a go, shall we? Lupulus. Oh, and Lupulus, of course, uh, is the uh, name, the Latin name, the scientific name for hops, the hop plant, uh, uh, humulus lupulus, which means small, humble wolf. And I guess the, the hop plant somehow reminded uh, people of hops, I'm, I'm sorry, of wolves. Uh, so, but of course, uh, in, in Roman times, uh, beer was not a uh, widely uh, Roman Roman Empire period. Rome, they encountered beer when they went north, you know, to uh, uh, Germanic areas and uh, Britain, uh, but they were not really much of beer drinkers at that point. So, in any case, uh, the name uh, is is for the hop plant. Okay, let's give this one a go. Right, it is definitely a uh, mild sort of golden straw color with a fast and furious carbonation. You can see it rising up there. And a somewhat frothy, maybe lightly spongy sort of head. Not really frothy. Okay. 
I'm using my Devil Craft glass, which is their brewery in Tokyo. Uh, try them out sometime. Oh, my goodness. Okay, this definitely has a very fresh kind of vegetal, lightly weedy sort of nose. Wasn't expecting that. Uh, somewhat citrusy, a little bit dank actually. Uh, I wasn't expecting that a kind of a modern, uh, modern take on, uh, or a modern addition to a Belgian pale ale. Mm, very pleasant. Okay. The flavor is very much uh, as expected from the aroma. Uh, it's giving off uh, uh, light citrus. Very nice malt. I'm kind of suspecting this might be Pilsner malt. Not sure. Uh, but the hops are really nice. Uh, it's not overdone. 37 international bittering in it. So you, you feel them, but not a lot. I mean, it's not really, really pressing down uh, on the, you know, the flavor. A little vegetal, but not terribly so. Uh, very nice. This is a pleasant, pleasant, nice uh, uh, pale ale, Belgian, uh, Belgian pale ale. The Belgian element is there in the yeast, but again, it's all very delicate. This is kind of like a, a mild, sort of hybridy sort of thing uh, with these these hops, which I. really can't quite identify them. Uh, vegetal, dank, uh, I'm guessing New World, uh, maybe American, uh, but I'm not sure. In any case, this is very pleasant, light, uh, uh, not overwhelming uh, in the hot weather we're having. Uh, once again, it's called Lupulus Hopera, and I did have this before eight years ago, and I gave it a rating of 3.8 out of 5. Uh, a bit higher than the average for a rate beer. I think now this would probably get a 3.6 or so from me. Um, it's nice, uh, but it uh, you know it doesn't really go to the extremes of uh, you know you don't really say wow. It's pleasant. Yeah, it's very. Uh, yeah, I would say give this a go if you happen to see it. Um, I found this in a uh, Yamaya store, uh, which is a chain of liquor stores. So, uh, once again, Lupulus Hopera Belgian Pale Ale, uh, Golden Single Ale, uh, six percent, thirty-seven IBUs, and it won't break the you know you won't break the bank uh, picking up one of these. So, give it a try. Uh, tell me your experience with Lupera if you've had or Lupulus if you've had any of their beers. Okay, and please do subscribe to the channel. Take care. Bye bye.